Hi, in this video we'll introduce the method of moments, which is another technique to estimate unknown parameters of a distribution given data. To do this, we'll first need to talk about sample moments. So as a recap, what is a moment? If x is a random variable and c is a scalar, then the kth moment of x is just the expected value of x to the kth power, and the kth moment of x about c is the expected value of x minus c to the kth power. For example, we're often interested in the first moment of x, which is just the expected value of x, or the mean, and the second moment of x about the mean, which is the variance of x, or e of x minus mu squared. So what's a sample moment? So again, if x is a random variable and c is a scalar, and x1 through xn are iid realizations or samples from x. The kth sample moment of x is basically the average value of xi to the k. So it's 1 over n times the sum from i is equal to 1 to n of xi to the kth power. And the kth sample moment of x about c is also the same. It's the average of xi minus c to the kth power averaged over all of our data samples. And for example, the first sample moment is just the sample mean, and the second sample moment about the sample mean is the sample variance. Okay, so now let's introduce the method of moments. So if x is a set of ID realizations with from probability mass function px or density fx, and theta is a parameter or vector of parameters, then the method of moments estimator theta hat mom of these parameters theta which could range from theta 1 to theta k, is a solution, if it exists, to the k simultaneous equations where for any j from 1 through k, we set the jth true moment equal to the jth sample moment. For example, the first true moment should be equal to the first sample moment, and the kth true moment, which is expected value of x to the kth power, should be equal to the kth sample moment, which is just the average value of xi to the kth power, over our xi's, which are our samples. Okay, let's do some examples. So if x1 through xn are samples from a uniform distribution from zero to theta, for example, like these, what is the method of moments estimator for theta? We only have one parameter, theta, so we only need one equation. So we wanna set the first true moment equal to the first sample moment. So the first true moment is the expected value of this uniform, which is just theta over two. And the sample moment is just the sample mean in this case. It's the first sample moment. So if we solve for theta, we get 2 over n times the sum of the xi's, which is our estimator. And notice that here, the method of moments estimator is not the same as the maximum likelihood estimator. But what if x1 through xn are samples from an exponential distribution with parameter theta, like these? In that case, we again only have one unknown parameter, and we want to set the first moment, the first true moment, e of x, to be equal to the first sample moment. So the expected value of an exponential is just 1 over theta, and we set that equal to the first sample moment, or the sample mean. Solve for theta, we get theta hat is 1 over the sample mean, and this is the same as the maximum likelihood estimate. What if x1 through xn are samples from a Poisson distribution? In that case, we still only have one parameter, so we have just the same equation. The first true moment should equal the first sample moment. The expected value of a Poisson is just the parameter theta, and we already have an equation for theta then. It's just the sample mean. So here, it agrees with the maximum likelihood estimator. Okay, what about the normal distribution? If x1 through xn are ID samples from a normal distribution, well, there's two parameters. Theta1 is the mean, and theta2 is the variance. So what's the estimator for these thetas? Uh, we need two equations again, so uh, notice that this time variance of x is equal to expected value of x squared minus e of x quantity squared. And if we solve for e of x squared the second moment of x, that's just variance of x plus the mean squared. Okay, let's write down our equations. So the first true moment, e of x, should equal the first sample moment, and the first true moment is just the first parameter because theta 1 is the mean. Uh, and then for the second equation, we have the second true moment, e of x squared, should equal the second sample moment. And we already derived that e of x squared is just the variance of x, which is the second parameter of the normal, theta 2, plus the mean squared, which is theta 1 squared. Okay, let's solve these for the two unknown parameters. So theta 1 is just going to be equal to the sample mean in this equation. And if we solve for theta 2, we get that it's basically the second sample moment minus the sample mean squared. And because the sample mean is just theta 1, or our estimate of theta 1, so we can plug in theta 1 hat into this equation. So we just get 1 over n times the sum from 1 through n of xi minus the sample mean squared. And notice that here, this is the same as the maximum likelihood estimate for the Gaussian. Thank you.